So what happens with limestones after they are formed, after they become uh, a rocks from the sediment, from the calcitic sediment, um, they start to dissolve. But they start to dissolve in a very special way. They don't dissolve, dissolve like uh, the whole rock, but they, they make channels inside of the uh, big succession, of big formation of the limestones. And they are caves. And this phenomenon is called, is called karst. And what we see uh, in this place is very special because we have unroofed uh, cave. Uh, it, before it was cave, full of the water, what, what these caves are uh, for, they are just basically to, to for the, uh, their ways for the water, like channels for the water, under underground water. We have different kinds of porosity, and this is uh, sometimes uh, rocks, not limestones, but other rocks, uh, they, they are like a sponge. They have uh, water everywhere, but limestones, they are different. They have uh, um, water in some fractures, and they join to bigger channels. And these channels are called karstic caves. If they, uh, the, these limestones they are later uplifted, we can go inside of the caves. But uh, in the uh, majority of Villa Kraina, because it's low land, uh, these caves are still under the water. Uh, what we see here, it's probably the shortest river uh, in the whole world, but it's for sure shortest in the Villa Kraina. <laughs> Uh, it comes out of the cave here, this is a spring, flows for 5 meters and goes back to the cave. So what we have here is basically unroofed cave. Before everything was covered and it was just cave inside, one channel, one karstic channel, channel with the cave. And then uh, because of the dissolution, this uh, roof of the cave fell down, became dissolved and today we see the a uh, very short par partition of the very long channel that is flowing from the Mirnagora region towards the direction of the Chernobyl. What is also very important for the cast is to understand that it's the cast is uh, very uh, vulnerable. <laughs> this is hard work. Vulner vulnerable. <laughs> so it's very. Um, for, from the environmental uh, aspect, it's, uh, you can easily destroy cast. And because the water, as you can see, it is flowing very quickly through the karstic areas. And because all the rocks are like uh, Swiss cheese, uh, full of, uh, they're full of, uh, of the of holes of the caves. If you put one, um, let's say, one uh, pollutant, one uh, waste to one point, it very quickly spreads to the other parts uh, of the region. And this is uh, 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 very important to understand for people to take care about the environment here in this region. Because uh, we had this, uh, this is not a nice story, it's actually quite a bad story. One factory here in Semich um, was uh, during the communistic times, was uh, disposing some very uh, toxic material in the karstic area and in uh, half a year all the springs in, around the Semich were full of this waste and uh, full of this acids, uh, it's called PCB, one special thing for making some condensators, uh, some ele electronic stuff and all springs were polluted by, the, by, by this PCB and uh, one the, the, the biggest spring uh, which is probably the nicest the nicest karstic spring in Bela Krajina it's called Krupa uh, spring was also was the most polluted river uh, uh, of the whole Yugoslavia at uh, that time now luckily this uh, um, PCB uh, stuff was already um, washed away so you can it's still inside of the water but it's not so toxic anymore um, but still, it's a very good uh, example how really uh, uh, easily you can destroy the environment here in the Karstic area. I think now the people there, they're getting uh, used uh, to this. Uh, they, they know that this environment is... Uh, to, they, they're getting used to these problematics. So they, they, they really uh, start to take care 
more about the caves and about the, the karstic uh, in, uh, area here in Pelafel. So uh, we can go and uh, take a look at, at the channel. It's good because now it is, these are rainy days, so it's a lot of water. But anyway, here inside you can see still a cave, so it's a spring, classic Arctic spring. You have uh, limestones all around, and then the water comes out. Here it was a cave, before you can see a, sh see a shape of a cave, so it uh, collapsed. So now uh, this, we call it unroofed cave, because it doesn't have roof anymore. And it goes back inside to the to the channel and back to the casket 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 mode.